Hello and welcome to Threadily. I'm Kent and today I am going to be reviewing Swashby and the Sea, which is written by Beth Ferry and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. I don't know about you, but I love grumpy old grandpa stories, especially when it's like a codger um, who discovers a heart of gold kind of narrative, and that is absolutely what Swashby and the Sea is all about. Uh, it opens with a an elderly man who has new neighbors move in. He's not particularly thrilled because they mess up his uh, pristine beach and they walk on his deck and uh, they are so active and like they make noise because they're having fun and it's a mother and, and her little girl. And look at that little girl. Oh my goodness. And, and so like these neighbors are just like living a good life. They're trying to be kind. They invite him to join in in their activities. And he's like, mm. but then over time, when he sees the little girl playing or doing something in a way that he thinks he knows a better way, he'll come out and help her by giving her some assistance or direction. And <laughs> He's being all grumpy and stuff, but clearly the mother and daughter see through that grumpy exterior and they keep inviting him, they keep inviting him, and over time his wall breaks down. It's just such a weird story and like the ocean is a character in this book and so there's a whimsy to it as well. It's, it's the right amount of text per page, the illustrations are gorgeous, and there's sort of a clever repeating element where he writes a, you know, a phrase or a direction in the sand and then the sea messes with it just a little bit. Oh, I should say the sea fiddled with just a little bit. That's the expression in order to improve his life because the sea knows because she loves him because he was a sailor the sea knows that he needs like good people in his life who will encourage him and give him companionship and uh, i could watch a tv show based on this 